Greetings myself Dr. P. Shivkumar Singh at uh, Forest. It is uh, one of the uh, deciduous uh, common forest which is uh, located at uh, Vikarabad district, Timayapalli forest it is. It is a closely related forest. At the middle of this forest uh, we are standing. So in this particular forest we have a historical temple. And this temple was uh, one of the oldest temple. It is uh, named as a Vithaleshwara temple. Vithaleshwara temple is located near the Timayapalli, but uh, it is uh, in the middle of the forest, so that uh, it is comes under in the forest uh, uh, location. So, if you could see here, this particular temple having two Garbha temples means two important temples. So that is why it has been named as a Vithaleshwara temple. One is Vithala Swami, uh, Pandranga Vithala and uh, second is uh, Ishwara, Shankara Bhagavan. So that uh, two uh, temples we can see here and uh, beside of these two temples uh, we can also see another one, Hanuman temple, almost all that, that has uh, destroyed. Because it is uh, one of the oldest temples uh, which were going to be neglected and uh, nowadays nobody is going to be visited these temples. So that is why when we are coming to this uh, plant collection and uh, studying of the um, field studies, uh, so the part of these particular uh, uh, studies uh, of these plants, uh, we are also identifying like these types of sacred groups. So in this particular location, the people believing that uh, this forest uh, comes under in the Vitaleshwara forest. So that uh, people are not going to touch even a single plant and they are not going to destroy a single plant in this forest location. So that is why these are small uh, reservoirs, so forest reservoirs. Uh, so uh, these are very difficult thing to reach to these temples uh, because uh, uh, in previously we doesn't have any type of roads. Let us see now one by one temple and we have seen now once again we can just uh, glance the uh, forest diversity, how the plant diversity is going to be located in this uh, uh, forest. So that uh, we are going to documenting the plants of the sacred groves of the Vitaleshwara temple. So in the part of the studies, those studies today we are here for the documenting of the plant diversity and as well as the historical importance of these two temples uh, which were located and named as a Vitaleshwara temple. So let us see here. So that uh, mainly these temples uh, contain two few Garbha temples and uh, one temple is named as a Shankara temple. So in this Shankara temple we can see here one of the Vinayaka Vigraha and uh, so it is also one of the oldest Vinayaka Vigraha. And uh, in the Garbha temple and we can see here uh, Shankara Lingam is going to be uh, situated here. This is one of the oldest and historical Shankara Bhagavan temple which is uh, located here. That is why this uh, temple named as a Ishwara temple. So that uh, Vithaleshwara temple. Vithala and Ishwara, these two named temple is very rare in Indian history. It is located in Telangana, that particularly near to the Vikarabad and uh, near to the... It is uh, well in the, on the way of Mahabubhinagar to Tandur. Many buses are going to settling here so that we can also easily reach to these uh, particular temples. So this is one Ishwara temple which is located and uh, of course here we can see almost all destroyed here. Almost all these walls are destroyed and uh, we, can, we can assume that Definitely this, this temple was very oldest temple and uh, almost walls are going to be destroyed and mainly we can see that is considered as a, one of the main entry, entrance of the temple was uh, almost all destroyed here. We can see some, some part of this uh, location is we, now we can see this much only available to watch this entrance of this uh, Vithaleshwara temple so that here we can see if this much is available today and uh, these, these are the walls also located here and uh, even many of uh, uh, many uh, other rooms also available in olden days nowadays almost all destroyed here only two Garbha temples are available mean the main temple uh, temples are available and here we can also see main temple of this uh, uh, location is Vithala temple and Vithala Pandranga Vithala temple we can see here 
we clearly we can watch here this uh, one of the lipi when this temple was established here with the different languages i maybe it, uh, it may be located with the dravidian language and as well as uh, uh, another one is uh, hindi I mean uh, it is a sanskrit and as well as dravidian both language information has been uh, available in the shithila that is uh, like and here mainly we can see in the temple this is a main garbha temple of the vithala temple vithaleshwar pandranga temple and here pandranga swami is uh, situated in this uh, main temple and every every week the people of uh, timayapalli uh, are coming to this temple and uh, they are uh, worship uh, this temple and they are uh, uh, performing the puja according to the uh, indian and uh, hindu hinduism so that here we can see like these times temples are very rarely available so that it is our responsibility to uh, uh, locate these uh, temples and we have to be identified like these temples and we have to be developed and we have to read uh, from these temples so that uh, uh, main our aim is that uh, we have to be document like these temples and locate the temp location should be uh, publish these temples uh, through the medias and the people comes to know if anybody else uh, they want to visit this like type of historical temples we have to be the people all comes to here and uh, they were going to visit these temples and uh, maybe these temples uh, will be developed in future we can also expect uh, that uh, type of development because it is a very middle of the forest and very height on hill only this had this type of temples are situated and uh, nowadays here people are uh, because it is very near to the main road also very near to the main road like uh, 7 to 8 kilometers only uh, main road that uh, road um, uh, kodangal to tandur means uh, tandur to mahabubnagar road and uh, it is also near to the Bikarabad also so that uh, pargi also like some of the locations uh, actual according to the uh, Jurati Institute, it uh, comes under the Vikarabad district, uh, Telangana, and uh, Timayapalli, Yalala Mandalam. So, let us see here, we can also see the Hanuman Temple, almost all it has been destroyed here. Clearly, we can see Hanuman Temple is available there. So, that uh, almost all, only the Vigraha is available there. So, that, uh, that also consider as a Hanuman Temple. So, now almost all the temple was... Uh, Mm, uh, historically that was also having a great history Hanuman temple and other these two temples but now only these two temples are available so that uh, uh, it is our very small documentation which is uh, with our own with our own idea with our own risk we are we reached here and we are going to explaining these things so Dear well-wishers of the temples and well-wishers of the biodiversity, well-wishers of these uh, biodiversity conservator, conservators, we have to be conserve the sacred groups like these types of uh, sacred groups so that uh, it is our uh, a small documentation from our side. I, I myself, Dr. P. Shiv Kumar Singh with uh, cameraman uh, Mohan Singh. Thank you very much.